All right, guys, welcome back. I'm uh, walking on the outside of Jair Point Abbey. Haven't gone in yet. You know, I, I just love this artwork, and I'm going to zoom in on that one for you. Uh, I have that actually, very similar one to that on my left forearm. Um, there's some stuff that you're going to see inside this particular uh, monastery or abbey that's uh, uh, kind of like the Book of Kells stuff. It's a lot of artwork uh, that's, you know, uh, put into the stone. When you look at the surrounding country, just take a look for a second. I mean, this thing, you know, is it's still in the middle of the, uh, you know, uh, old school century, you know, like way back in the, the the 1200s. So it's pretty incredible. Let's see. See how they got the bars in the windows. And there's another window. Uh, it looks like there might have been a door there or something at one point. See, I might have missed the. Oh, there it is. I was like, dang, how do I get in? <laughs> Some more windows. All right, as we come in through here, you're going to see that they're doing some renovation, trying to keep, keep as much of it intact as possible. Yeah, look at this, man. Jeez. So they have a big courtyard. And you can even still see it on some of the, some of the stones. Like right here, for example. Just the amount of dedication and creativity it takes to form pillars. Here's some more, but it looks like maybe they got uh, lost over the years. This place is just surreal. Man. I could sit in here for hours. We'll walk up over to the top there. I believe you can still go in that. Uh, oh yeah, look, let me come in here. Here are some of the parts of the stonework that apparently have broken off and they're just trying to save. Let me slow down for you guys. Look at the knot work on top of that stone. Maybe part of an archway there. There's a particular section that we're coming to here in a second. Not in, not in this room, but a little bit further where they carved into the stone the 12 apostles. Um, and, it, and it's pretty incredible. Let me have another room here. Oh, this is just the presentation room, but they got some cool stuff in there. Some cool artwork, stonework, I should say. Look at that. Another good one. Hey, if you ever make it to Ireland, though, I normally don't carry cash uh, just so that I don't get robbed um, or nobody attempts to rob me, I should say. Um, 
but a lot of places in Ireland actually uh, still don't take card. Look at this. Um, I forget which one this one is. Uh, let me look. I have a little guidebook here. I mean, look at that carved into the stone. St. Christopher. That's St. Christopher. No, we're entering in, I think, yeah. Here we go. Look at this, man. I'll go up those stairs in a second, but... Some more tombs. And... Let's see who this is. doesn't say. Look at the window. Look at that. I mean. You see they got some cables in place to, to keep it. Ah, here's the, uh, the 12 apostles. They're all around this casket here, or some of the 12 apostles, I should say. I think that's it, yeah. the other ones. Just amazing. Look at that. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't work with that stuff, but uh, just imagine how long it took them to, to make this place. Um, I just can't even imagine. <laughs> Such attention to detail. Look at that top. That's at the top of, of uh, whatever section this is here. And then big old hallway. We'll go down there in a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up top here. Let you guys get a full view of the place. I miss this. I miss those two. I didn't realize they had those there. Again, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it that well on the camera, but it's uh, a very finely etched artwork. Another cross. Let me step over here. Another cross. Yeah, they got a ton of stuff like that around here. All right, let's uh, let's walk up top so we can get a bird's eye view, and then we'll call it a call it a, a day for this as far as videoing goes. Oh man, maybe not. <laughs> so now I'm up in the top portion here. This place is just. Amazing. A sight to wake up to on a Monday morning, huh? So 
Some cows right out back. All right, guys. I'm gonna call it a call it a morning on the video. I'm gonna take some good pictures because I realize I can't take good pictures while I'm videoing. Um, and I'll post this shortly, and then um, when you guys wake up, you'll be able to see my my first stop of the day, and then I'm gonna go live from the Rock of Cashel, which is apparently uh, where St. Patrick started his ministry. Um, that place is just as epic as this place is, so I think you guys will have a good time. All right, we'll talk to you soon.